Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. We're going to be doing more confidence intervals with variance and standard deviation. Here's our problem. On a factory assembly line for soft drinks, 40 uh, cans are sampled and the amount of liquid inside had a standard deviation of 7.7 .7 milliliters. Find a 98% confidence interval for the standard deviation of liquid for the factory. So again, in manufacturing, you're almost always concerned with not only what you're producing and how much of it, but how consistent each can is. So the standard deviation of something like the amount of liquid in a can uh, is basically telling you what is the spread. Like some cans are gonna have a little bit more than the average and some cans are gonna have a little bit less than the average, but how wide is that spread? Is it you know, a cup? Is, are some cans almost empty and some cans like overflowing? Or is it just a few milliliters? Well, in this case, when we do a sampling, we see that the standard deviation is only 7.7 .7 milliliters. And, but we only sampled 40 cans. So our question is, if we're making a million cans a week, um, how representative of, of that whole factory is our little small sample? And what can we, conclusions can we draw from the confidence interval of the standard deviation for the amount of liquid for the whole factory? That's what we're trying to do. And so we're gonna follow this exact procedure. The first step is it says find S squared, which is the variance of the um, samples. So in this case, it tells us um, that the standard deviation is 7.7 .7 milliliters. So here's why you have to remember, S squared is variance, but we weren't given that in the problem. We were given S, which is the standard deviation, 7.7 .7 milliliters. And from that, we can then square S and we'll get 7.7 .7 squared, which is 59.29. So in this problem, we were not given the variance, we were given the standard deviation. But in our equation down here, we're gonna end up using S squared. So we'll just square it first and kind of have it ready to go so that when we get to that step, it'll be all ready. Now the next thing says, from the confidence level, find alpha. So what we have here is the confidence level is 98%, so the 0.98, and so what that means is alpha is one minus 0 0.98, so alpha is 0 0.02. So that is what we call the level of significance, 0 0.02. Now for step three, it says find these values, alpha over two, one minus alpha over two. And that's very simple because alpha over two is 0 0.02 over two, which is 0 0.01, so we have that. And then one minus alpha over two, is one minus what I just calculated, 0 0.01, right? And that's gonna be 0 0.99 when we do that subtraction. So now we have alpha over two and we have one minus alpha over two. And step four is telling us from the chi-squared table, we need to find these values of chi-squared alpha over two and chi-squared one minus